of Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, starring Harrison Ford, Shia LaBeouf, Cate Blanchett, and John Hurt. Okay. Now, coming into this film, uh, this is uh, obviously one of the more anticipated movies of the summer. Movie Phone's number one, most anticipated. I had on number four on my list. Uh, go back and watch that, my most anticipated movies of the summer list video. Um, and there were a lot of reasons why people were saying it might be bad. Like, uh, it, there were some bad early reviews, and there were um, George Lucas giving hints that it might not be good. But me, personally, I like the film. I really did. Uh, I thought Shia LaBeouf stole the show. Uh, now, a lot, I know a lot of people really like Shia LaBeouf. I know a lot of people really don't. I, lo I, really, I love him. Uh, I, thought it, and I think he really stepped out of shell in this role because uh, he, in this one, he, uh, this is Rob, by the way. Uh, so, hi. It's my cousins. Uh, in this one, he really stepped out of his shell in a way that, like, he didn't play that bumbling kind of dork that I was like, oh, no, 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 no. The, the, the kind of stuttering kind of guy who's like, oh, no, 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 come on, no, we're here to do this, no, 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 like that. Um, he, he played kind of a cool Marlon Brando type, which I really like that in this movie. And uh, Harrison Ford's always great, but uh, and at the only complaints really I had with the film were that I thought Kate Blanchett maybe kind of overplayed her role as the villain. Like, her character kind of got on my nerves. But, I, that's that's a small complaint. And the other one is it got a bit wild in the end. With I'm not going to give away anything, but it, it does get kind of wild. And if you're f one of those people who goes, oh, that can never happen in a movie. Come on, that's not, that's not possible. You're going to hate this film. Because there's some things that are like, what the heck is going on? you got to be kidding me. Uh, but... Overall, it's a really solid film, and check it out. It's a and as far as the summer movie, you know what? I'm not gonna complain about it. I mean, it's a it's a it's a good film. It get it got the job done. All right. So my overall rating: I give Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. One, two, three, four stars. Four out of five stars. Eight out of ten. Uh, now, uh, the review's over, but I'm gonna sh just quickly show you my, uh, my re room, real quick. Cloverfield poster. Joker poster. Episode 1. Spider-Man. Transformers. 300. And... That's all for right now. Uh, as I said, Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, uh, 8 out of 10, 4 out of 5 stars. And that is all for right now. I'll be taking a week off next week because I'm not going to see Sex in the City. But I'll probably be reviewing two movies the week after with Kung Fu Panda, which I think looks hilarious. And same with Don't Mess with Zohan. So see you later. Hope you enjoyed the review.